Hey folks, today what I want to talk about is heat pump wiring, straight AC wiring. You know, a lot of the people try to make this so complicated when in reality it's very, very not complicated, okay? And I'm going to go through some just some basics. This video is really for homeowners and people that need some help on the weekends, at night, they have emergencies. I want you just to look and see what this does so you'll understand exactly what you're trying to accomplish here. First thing I want to point out is the thermostat itself. All these thermostats are the same. This here is this Train Pro 8000. This is a Honeywell Pro 3000. So here's what you got. Let's talk about this. You got a blue wire, okay? That's a common. And then you have a red wire. That's the hot. This blue and red wire actually goes right here to a transformer. If you see this right here, I've got a blue and I got a red wire coming from my thermostat to my transformer. And what happens, you'll take the blue wire, you'll tie it to the blue, you'll take the red wire and tie it to the yellow. This is something that you may not need to deal with, but if I say, hey, go to your air handler and look for a transformer, this is a transformer, okay? Sometimes these transformers do, do not have fuses to protect it. Sometimes they do, okay? We can talk about that later. So let's go a little further here. Now, the next thing is the reversing valve is O, okay? And there, this is a reversing valve. And I say, is your reversing valve coming? I want you to look at this. That's why they call this a reversing valve. It actually shifts back and forth. One energizes on heat, one energizes on cool. And just so you know, the industry standard, so if I asked you, say, hey, what have you got? Have you got a train? Have you got a Goodman? Have you got a Mana? Have you got a Tempstar? All those units energize on O, the O terminal, okay? So that's what we got. O, orange, reverse and valve, energizes on cool. So now we're going to move to the next thing. G. G is green. Here's your green wire. And this is all predicated on industry standards. And you'll say, well, what does the green wire go to? Well, right here, the indoor blower motor. Every AC system has an indoor system, unless it's a water source unit. So this green wire will energize and call for this to come on, okay? And, and there are a couple of things that's going on here that I'll talk to you about in just a second. Now, here is the yellow wire. The yellow wire goes to the white terminal, okay? And here is what the yellow wire goes to. It goes to a compressor. This is just a standard train climate tough compressor is what this is. So when I say, is your outdoor unit coming on? Can you hear a hum? Can you hear the compressor coming on? And you walk outside, you're going to hear a thing. You'll hear it running, okay? That's what's supposed to run is this compressor, okay? Now we're going to talk about the heat strip. The heat strip, the white wire, goes to W, okay? And this heat strip is mainly... Uh, down in southwest Florida, that's all we heat with. And this is what a heat strip looks like, okay? Right here. And when, so when the thermostat, when you flip it to heat and you ask for heat, this is what's coming on. Now let's say you're up north and you have a heat pump and you flip it to heat. You're going to have the reversing valve come on. Excuse me. Yes, sir. The, the reversing valve will come on and the compressor will come on at the same time up north. Okay, that's what a heat pump is supposed to be. So what you'll do, you walk outside and you'll feel the top of your heat pump. And if it's blowing out nice cold air, that means this heat pump is working. So we're going to talk about a couple things real quick. Let's say you call me and says, hey, David, my, my, nothing's working. I don't know. I think I have a bad thermostat. So what you're going to do, let's say we're going to go to the heat cycle. And it's going to be for heat pump. So you're going to grab the yellow wire, you're going to grab the green wire, and you're going to grab the red wire, and you're going to tie them all together. If those three wires are tied together, so here it is, yellow and red. If you tie these three wires together, and the blower works, and the compressor comes on, you got a bad thermostat. All right, so now let's say you call me and says, I, I don't think my outdoor unit's working. I, I can't get no heat. And I know my outdoor unit's got ice or, or something. It's not working. My floor motor's bad or my conditioner. So we're going to turn on the emergency heat. So if we want to turn on the emergency heat, you're going to turn on 
the um, red wire. You can turn on the white wire. You can turn on the green wire. That's for emergency heat. Okay. And what you'll do, you'll actually flip it on your thermostat. I'll show you this right here. You'll have a emergency heat on your on your thermostat. So you just flip it over to emergency heat. See how that goes? That will bring on the heat strip, which is this right here. Hopefully you've got enough to hold you because I know up north when you have a heat strip in your air handler because your uh, heat pump goes on defrost cycle, this is supposed to be warm enough to heat the house, okay? So now let's let's move past winter and let's say it's summertime and I'm, I'm dying, it's hot and my, nothing's working and I think I'm gonna have a bad thermostat. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna tie the red wire, the green wire, and the yellow wire together. This is for cool. Right here. So you, you'll, what you'll do, you'll go to your thermostat, so you'll grab the, the yellow, you'll grab the green, and you'll grab the red wire, and you'll tie them together. That's for cool. Okay? Really, guys, this stuff is not that complicated. Go to your thermostat, watch what you're doing, pull the cover off carefully. I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say it twice. Take a picture of your wires. Take a picture of your wires because what happens, these guys will, I'm going to change my thermostat. It's bad. Then they won't write this down. But anyway, the bottom line is it's not complicated. It's not rocket scientist. Turn your breaker off. Mark your thermostat wires. Be careful. If you have any problems, go to our website, jonesairconditioning.com. We blog on everything. We put everything on there. We try to help everybody out. And if you like this video, please share. Please subscribe and please comment. And one more time. Hey guys, we got to get some guys in this trade. This is a great industry. We got to bring the young people in. It's growing phenomenally. Thank you.